Well, we're in the expectation management stage of this Fadden by-election. Labor says it will be happy with its performance on Saturday's by-election. The party can secure a small swing towards the government. The coalition at least hoping for a stronger showing than what happened in the Aston by-election. A big swing there three months ago saw it lose that seat in the first opposition to do so to a government in decades. Lauren Forbes had us the latest on the ground in the Gold Coast. Thousands of voters in the blue ribbon seat are casting their votes early ahead of Saturday's by-election. Many Gold Coast residents have made up their mind, but others are yet to decide, even as they arrive at pre-polling. I'm probably going to go with the Liberal Nationals because I think that um, they've probably got the best policies of the future that work for me and my particular age group, I feel. Uh, they've done a good job so far in the, in the area, so I think it's just um, continuing on. There's some emotion in this local electorate and it's going to be expressed it may not get out, get over the line, but I think people are going to going to say something. I just think the seat needs to change with the way that Labor's going Australia-wide. The margin is a safe 10.6% for the LNP. There's a little expectation that Labor can win Fadden for the first time since 1983. So its candidate says a small swing towards her would be cause for celebration. We were really happy to get that 3.6% swing last year. I think that any swing away from the LNP would be a loss to them. A sizeable swing could cause alarm for other Liberal National MPs who may begin to question the party's direction under Peter Dutton. For Labor, its campaign is targeting Fadden's outgoing MP Stuart Robert for his handling of robo-debt as Minister, a campaign opposition leader Peter Dutton has dismissed. Look, I think people are looking forward, not back. And I think people are looking at who will be their local champion. Uh, it's an opportunity to send the Prime Minister a message that he just hasn't, hasn't done well enough in relation to the cost of living pressures that he's applying on Australians. It, it's not by chance that interest rates go up under Labor governments. That's the reality. Polling nationally shows support for the government's voice to parliament is slipping, but Labor candidate Letitia Del Fabro insists it's not a concern for voters. Oh, no one has really been speaking to us about the voice. We've knocked on thousands of doors and spoken to thousands of people on the phone. So, um, like I said, overwhelmingly, people are talking about cost of living and, um, cons you know, and are really happy to hear about Labor policies like cheaper childcare. The bookies have LNP candidate Cameron Caldwell at $1.03 for winning the by-election against Miss Del Fabro. I think a 3% return on your money between now and Saturday is not a bad... Not a bad bet, but uh, you should gamble responsibly. It'd be my only other piece of advice. The Australian Electoral Commission is calling on all voters in the division to vote, as numbers are far below expectation by 27% compared to the 2022 federal election.